you guys can be as awesome as you want to be and it's your choice to want to to take life and go for it and a speech really to try and encourage people to just embrace who they are embrace their bodies embrace being tall and let's see how the speech goes hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today is another video and it is a motivational speech it is the first speech that i've written and we'll see how well it goes so please comment and subscribe if you guys don't already subscribe to my channel and i am katrina i am 6'2 and my motivational speech today is on confidence so i've been getting a lot of uh messages on instagram and on my youtube channel about women in high school and how they relate to being tall and kind of growing up and all that stuff. So today's video is going to be about me growing up tall in high school and how I got through it and a speech really to try and encourage people to just embrace who they are, embrace their bodies, embrace being tall and let's see how the speech goes. So don't mind me, I'm going to be looking at uh, these notes here. So if anyone's ever walked by me, they've probably said either out loud or in their head, damn, she's tall. And <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, I'm 6'2". I'm taller than 98% of the US population, men and women. And the first question people always ask me is, does it affect your daily life? Um, other than clothes, which is a scavenger hunt, but that's a whole nother story. Easy answer? No. Uh, so I'm here to talk about confidence and what self-confidence is and the misconceptions of it. So self-confidence, lifestyle confidence, and core confidence. And back in 2005, I was a freshman in high school. I was painfully awkward, I was 5'11", I was just, I didn't really know uh, what to do with my body other than I played volleyball and was good at that and went the sports track being tall, which was great. I had confidence because I could play sports. Um, but how can you be shy and confident at the same time? And you can. Uh, Self-confidence isn't the person that sings Whitney Houston in the lunchroom and then walks away like nothing happened. I, I was never one of those people. I can never just stand up, exude confidence, be totally sure of myself, and be okay with whatever happened. I, I get a lot of questions about the pressures of high school. And it's not just your grades or who you're interested in dating or your relationships with your teachers, your relationships with your parents, relationships with your friends. I mean, there's so many different dynamics in high school that God forbid you can't stand up in the cafeteria and sing Whitney Houston, but you could. And that's what I'm trying to come across with this video is that you're the only one standing in the way. Like, yes, it may take time, it may take years. And for me, for me to get to this place where I'm comfortable in my own skin and I can talk to people on the internet and not really be afraid, really be afraid, of what people have to say, if I'm authentically me, they can't hurt me. And what's the worst thing that they can do but see me? So the three different types of confidence, and in high school I only knew of one. So confidence in, uh, on the surface, uh, self-confidence. So this is what you exude on the outside. This is the swagger, if you will, that you carry yourself as. And of course, the people that could sing Whitney Houston in the lunchroom, that's what I thought of confidence. So I never had that. Uh, the second part of confidence is lifestyle. I went to a big private school, a lot of money. My family didn't have money, um, but 
some people did and that's what they exuded. They had the track suits and the Gucci and the everything. The surface confidence is important, but it can be taken away when someone challenges you. Like, say, you get sent to the Dean's office for singing Whitney Houston in the lunchroom. And uh, then you have to find something underneath this layer. Uh, if you're challenged and that's all you have, then it doesn't, it doesn't really work out. So lifestyle confidence is the things that you've achieved and the skills you have. Uh, lifestyle confidence though can be gone in the blink of an eye. Uh, your money disappears, your s social media turns against you, um, your physical appearance changes, your um, people think about what they, people need to think about what they rely on to be confident and you need other things to give you confidence. And the third thing, the main thing that you really need to work on, and I didn't know this in high school, or at least I didn't know a word for it, really. Um, what I probably thought of in high school was like believing in yourself. Like that, that was my core confidence. And core confidence is what's left after lifestyle. Uh, core confidence is the relationship you have with yourself. You've lost your muscles, you've lost your athleticism, you've lost your looks, or you don't even have to lose them, but you, you need to understand about core confidence, that it's you're accepting yourself for everything that you are. Your past, your faults, your weaknesses, your strengths, but all of that has to kind of build you into who you are and what you are and that's your core. That's your core confidence. You've no one to rely on other than yourself. Uh, so something funny I, I've been told for years and never did it is morning affirmations. So you've probably heard of this in yoga or uh, classes like that where you look at yourself in the mirror and you say three affirmations, three things that you believe that you are every single day. And it sounds silly and ridiculous, and it sometimes is, especially if you have roommates, but <laughs> you say these three things in the mirror and it makes a world of difference. It may be silly for the first 10 days, maybe silly for the first month, but after a while you actually start to believe yourself. You believe that you're beautiful, you believe that you're strong, you believe that you're able to jump the next hurdle to whatever you want to do in your life. If that's college, if that's uh, gaining a skill, if that's an athletic sport, if it's grades, all that stuff. The one thing out of all these layers that will, that will help you continue to have confidence throughout your life and high school and college and anything that you guys want to do in your life is challenging yourself. Challenge yourself in something new. And if you fail at it, you've tried. So have the confidence to fail, but also have the confidence to try something new. And if you've guys seen my YouTube channel, you've seen all the random stuff that I like doing. I go gold panning, I garden, I sew. I'm a horrible sewer, I try. But at least I'm trying things. and. I'm gaining new skills and I've had people ask me to sew things for them and yeah, it's simple, but I know how to use a sewing machine now. I mean, there's just certain things that like, yeah, I may not ever be able to make something for Vogue. You guys can be as awesome as you want to be and it's your choice to want to, to gain it, to, to take life and go for it. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.